So just as we come out of Monomé, I'll show you where the BTS station is. And it's very, very convenient. It's very, very close. And there is, you know, there's a couple of very good things here. But one thing is this <laughs> little cafe here. Uh, the cafe. It's related to Monomé. Okay, so you can pop in here to have some coffee, to have some uh, breakfast, to have some lunch, dinner, whatever. It's open until about 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Very relaxed, very nice, very nice place to come. Uh, you can have a little look at the menu on there. Coffee starts around 50 baht. Certainly not expensive. Nice little tables, nice and cool inside. Oh, what's that in front of me? Haha! <laughs> Look, that is the BTS station. And it is within a few meters of the hotel. So you can walk from the hotel, you can come straight out here, and you get straight onto the BTS. You can go into town that way, you can go to, if you wanted to go to Nana or you want to go on to Suck and Bit or you want to go shopping to JJ Mall, you can go down that way to Chat to Chat Market. So here we are. So here is your BTS station. It's very, very walk it's actually a short walk from everywhere one of the uh, good things about here is because you're starting to get closer to town as well city center you're also starting to get more and more street vendors but also on the other side of the road you'll find there's even more interesting stuff there and there's more accommodation over there as well and there's tons of places to eat over there it's uh, like a little place over there almost like a food court if you like of little bars and restaurants so here is the BTS station and uh, Lacha to eat. So while I'm uh, here, there are a couple of things here. So there's the BTS station there. So that is how close we are. You literally come down the stairs, go to there, look for that 7 Eleven, turn left, and then you'll be at the hotels there or the hostels there, okay? So this is it. This is the view looking down from the BTS station and in their distance there you see a big blue rectangular sign. Oh, how far away? One kilometer ish? Well that's where Siam Square is and NDK is. A lot of shopping there, Siam Paragon. So certainly is not far to the main shopping area of Bangkok. It literally is one stop on the BTS and actually not a very long walk. If you just walk straight down here on the corner there is a place, love it or hate it, called MBK. And so here we're at BTS station at Ratatouille. And let me show you on here. That's where we are. And before we were looking at Paya Thai, and here we go here. And so Chiklong, Siam, Siam, that's the next stop down. It's just one stop, okay? So this is a quick look uh, here. You 
see this way, you can come down here and the steps take you down onto this side of the road and then a short walk into the town centre, okay, or the city centre. And again, you come across this way, short walk, across, down the stairs, and again, you can walk down this side or that side. And again, there's a lot of nice places to eat and drink there, but just a short walk, one kilometre away, right in the heart of the city up there, okay? So this is why this area is so good. The location is fantastic. It's very, very convenient. It's not gonna cost you a lot if you grab a taxi to go anywhere. It's very easy to get to. We've got exit to that way, which will take you down here. Over there. Then if we pull back and walk over here, see we take exit one so exit one is the place that will take you back to that uh, little area where a couple of hostels are situated okay so very nice place very easy to find very very doable okay so there you go so you've got this one to come out here you see the steps down you've got other steps there Either way, you just look for that big grey building over there and that's where you're heading for, okay? You just keep going into that little back space there. <laughs> this is a funny story that I've got to tell you. I remember a few months ago, there was an American guy walking around, scratching his head and he was saying some not very nice language and he was effing and blinding and he was saying where are they from here? and he couldn't find the train station and he said to me I've been looking for ages to find the train station I can't find the train station where the hell is it? I said it's here and he was very angry he said no it isn't I've been looking for hours man I said no seriously it is here it's up there I don't know, huh? I said, yeah, it's a BTS station. It's a sky train. It's up there. That's why it's called the sky train. And he went, oh my God. I was looking for a train on the ground, man. So, God bless America. <laughs> no, it's, it's a simple mistake. We can all do it, but it is confusing. So if you are looking for the train station, looking for SkyTrain BTS, just lift your head up and it's that lot up there. It looks like an elevated roadway, but it's not, it's a train line, okay? So let me show you. So the first thing you're gonna see is uh, BTS. And then normally, normally, you'll get the name of the station across like this, okay? So it's normally like that. And then you'll have either steps to walk up, which will take you up there to the station platform, or you might have an escalator to take you up. But either way, it's up there. It's not on the road, okay? It's up there. So there is the train station up there. And it can be, and it is confusing if you come from a place where they don't have any sky trains or elevated train systems. So we're going to go up here, I'm going to show you what I mean. So we're going to go to the station and we look for the BTS, so that tells me a sky train, and then we've got steps. So we're going to walk up here. So you literally do just walk up the steps. So here we go, we come up the steps, come on to this first level now, and this is where you can get your tickets from. So you get your tickets either from a machine or you buy it from the kiosk, the ticket office. So that's it. It really is that simple. You go through the automated gates and then you go up another level then depending where you're going, very well signposted, 
you either go on this one, you either go into Bering or to Morty. And that's it. Now what we're looking for is this. We're coming out this side and we're looking for exit number three. So exit number three again is the side that will take you down all the way down there and that's going to put you on the correct side of the road for the hostels okay that I've showed you just before and this one this is exit number four and this will put you on the other side of the road it's all it's not far to anywhere around here you know it's, it's within walking distance really at most places there's a big shopping place down there called Platinum. That's only a couple of kilometres away. You've got MBK, you've got Siam, Paragon, you've got all the major shopping destinations which are just down there, one stop away on the BTS. So it's a great location. So you can walk this way, you can walk down here. And then if we go down here, and you'll see the uh, e cafe there by Monomare. This is the little soy here that the two hostels are. And it's a lot, lot quieter there than it is here. It's really noisy here. So you get that bit there, makes a big difference, makes it a lot quieter. And before we went to the posh tail, well, if you were on BTS and you got off at this station, then the posh tail is right on the junction over there. So for that one, you better come in here on junction number four. Exit number four, should I say. Okay, so there we go. So that's a little rundown of what it's like at this uh, BTS station here. It's up in the sky, so you have to lift your head up and look, okay? So if you have something that's broken, this lady here will fix everything for you. Uh, you broke your shirt, your trousers, your jeans, the zip's broken, something needs mending. She can fix it for you, okay? And you'll see these ladies and gents all over Thailand, but all over Bangkok as well. So you've no need to throw your stuff away. Bring it in, get it fixed, okay? Does it cost 20 baht or something like that? 